So we have a final trailer for the day before from Fantastic and another delay. It was supposed to come out, I believe, the 10th of this month, November, but it's been pushed back to the 7th of December now for early access. First up, though, as a game dev myself, I really don't wish bad on anybody and I, I wish the best for any game that's being made. So this is just my personal opinion and I hope this game is really good and we're all wrong about it. But I'm going to go over this final trailer for you today and give my impressions on what they've done so far with the day before and pause it in some certain clips like we do. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's discuss this. It just shows a couple of quick clips there. Uniquely reimagined journey into post-apocalyptic MMO. So that first uh, section is just showing quick clips from the rest of the trailer there. And uh, then we kick off with their title. So they got the name back. They won that lawsuit. And they're back on Steam at number one spot, I believe, now on wish lists. So yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, let's let's carry on a little bit here. The day before offers a uniquely reimagined journey into post So we got this city here. We get a larger kind of landscape view of the downtown uh, kind of skyline view. And... They, they don't get uh, your hopes up too much with this downtown. Most of this is not going to be explorable. I'll go over it again when we get to that kind of uh, skyline view of the downtown area. So, yeah, this is going to be 90% not explorable, guaranteed. This is from a dev that's worked on stuff like this. This, this. this is not possible to have all of this explorable. It's just eye candy, and it will be, it'll be a solid kind of building that uh, you just have to drive around. And there will be buildings just like the division that you'll be able to go in and loot and safe house areas that you'll be able to go in and probably trade like a skyscraper safe house like division, which uh, is, a, is another thing I want to touch on. This is looking very division-y and some of these shots look very familiar to me, which is nothing new with the day before, but let's carry on. Apocalyptic MMO open world survival, artfully developed by Fantastic and brought to you by the publisher Mytona, the open world of the day before. So you're going to have these smaller areas here. We see the zombies about on the floor here. These are probably going to be explorable, these smaller smaller areas, which will be more of a loot area and kind of PvP, cool little compound to fight out against other players. You're going to have little areas like this dotted around the map. This is outside the downtown, of course. We can see the larger downtown there, and that will be literally large meshes that will probably be all nanite just for performance purposes and uh, not actually have any purpose other than looking good for is beautiful and richly detailed there we go we've got military compound here so it's it's an area for loot and we can go in these fences and entrances here so it's looking it's looking cool though it's looking cool said in the present day on the u.s east coast and we got the residential area here which is we, we kind of saw this in that 10 minute gameplay in air quotations we not really showing much and it was very on rails kind of gameplay uh, yeah, we didn't really see much, and uh, this, this doesn't look bad, though. Though it is an apocalypse, and this garden is not that overgrown. But for, for a residential area, this don't look too bad. Stuff, Some stuff still looks a bit shiny and new for being an apocalypse. The grass is a bit short. You've got to think of performance with these things. The road is a bit clean. They, they, this would have probably, I don't know how long it is after this uh, zombie outbreak happened, but the road would be covered in debris and leaves and things like that, uh, which is how we're trying to go with our game. So the road would be covered in in sticks twigs leaves like you would expect in real life you still got to meet that middle ground with uh, performance realism you, you can't and, and fun you can't uh, kind of go all in on realism with the, with these types of games unless you want nobody to run the game uh, which is something we've had to really reel back on and redesign ourselves in our game um, but these guys look like i don't know maybe it's not that long after the apocalypse maybe i don't know does anybody know that following a deadly it does look pandemic. very clean in some places though the game begins after you are rescued by the survivors. Animations are nice. Economy. Character looks nice. Your new refuge and safe home. A lot of this, though, is is kind of uh, just animations placed on characters, NPCs. Uh, this is something you could probably do in a day, set up a scene like this with some uh, pre-made animations onto some characters and just place them about and they'll kind of do this. From now on, the doors of Woodbury will always be open to you. Voice but acting sounds good. Create your unique character. Select a personality, choose a gender, and custom. UI is kind of in line with their previous UI they've, they've shown us. I mean, they, they, they've definitely got some talent on the team. I'm not going to say they haven't got talent on their team or anything like that. 
Um, they, they definitely got some good well, assets, well-made assets here. So it's got some good detail. Post-apocalyptic America. Woodbury Not sure on some of those hairstyles, but the community. Constantly needing this is where we get supplies, that division feel. This, this feels like division here, that guy. Oh. To rebuild the that guy. Constantly. You know, when you go into the uh, the safe zones in Division and you get all the all the boards about and the supplies, NPCs. Building materials and Here we got the guy running off. Looks like he's going through the tent, the entrance exit to the safe zone. It looks very Division to me here. And This is not the first clip that looks very Division. Various Carry items. on here for a bit. You're here we go. This looks very Division to me. And uh, I like the detail, though. They've got this down pretty well. It's, uh, it's yeah, I can't really complain about the look of this here. This this street looks nice. These buildings look good. If the rest of the game can look like this, I think they're on onto something. Um, but some of it looks too shiny and too clean. But this looks good. If they can get this feeling on the whole game, they'll they'll be heading in the right direction uh, as a game design and art direction. That that this is where it needs to be. The whole game needs this kind of grime to it on the streets and the buildings these tarps hanging off with scaffolding like somebody's tried to kind of barricade maybe and you know these these big sheets hanging off buildings it looks to it needs to look in disarray uh you know like something's gone down whereas uh some of it doesn't doesn't look like that those, those skyline shots of the skyscrapers they all look brand new like they've just been built they've just freshly been built out of the box Main task let's carry on anyway as much valuable loot as possible and in return, you'll so we've got the looting system, which does look good. Um, it's obviously this is more than what the division does. You're actually opening containers here, dragging them across. We've got a vest here, we've got a shotgun. Um, looks like you can carry quite a lot of loot in your backpack, though. A shotgun, vest, not too sure on their balance for loot carryability. I'm not sure if this backpack is like the best backpack you can get because he's carrying a hell of a lot of stuff in here. Um, and got two weapons on his back, so. Yeah, that's, that's weird. But I guess once players start playing the game, you're going to get feedback and balance all of this and dial it down. Hopefully, that's that's what you usually do anyway. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Does, it doesn't look too bad, though. Coins. Who the hell needs your junk? Keep track of your health, hunger, and there thirst we go. That, indicators. That, that looks good. I like I the animations. Remember. Like I said, they got somebody, somebody good doing the animation work with their characters, which is something we're lacking on massively with our game. But the day before, their their animations do look good. Whether it's staged and scripted, uh, you know, footage, uh, it still does look good. You can't deny that. Dangers are everywhere here, ranging from the vicious. This looks um, really good, but it does look familiar. This shot you're going to see in a moment of the character firing this gun, looking at his face. Um, it does look good, but it looks very familiar to me. It's infected to other players who are. So this, they drop exactly identical pose to the division. This is exactly how they drop in Division, then you can crawl around in the Division. Uh, those that play the Division, this will instantly be familiar to you. So yeah, this is this is something I wanted to pick up on more with the Division kind of comparison. It's uh, It seems like the Division has been a massive, massive inspiration for this game, uh, especially with this redesign. The original game footage that we saw where they were smashing through fences uh, didn't look like the Division. This looks like the Division. Ready to take everything from Minus you. the snow. We've designed so as you can see, the, you've got these skyscrapers here. These look brand new, they've got sparkling glass. Look, I know uh, distance is hard to do the grimy details, but down here, this is what it, it wants to look like everywhere this grime, this dirt, all down here. I love that it's got this wall here blocking off part of the town. Maybe there's a law reason to that. Maybe this wall's here blocking out this area that's more dangerous, and this in here is the safe zone, and that's why all the rich people are living in these nice skyscrapers kind of thing. Uh, like Land of the Dead, with the, with uh, that kind of vibe where the uh, rich lived in that skyscraper and then you had the slums outside where everybody kind of survived and every man for themselves kind of thing. Maybe, maybe that's where they're going. Survival in this world to be a thrilling experience. The weapons, which can be modified, are made... Weapons don't look too bad. It's like very high quality. ...made with maximum realism to ensure that... The recoil, the gunplay, the animation on the character here shooting looks good. Again, we got that division downed animation, but it, it looks good. The recoil looks far better than their previous footage they've shown. Combat remains deep and engaged. This shot here, this is like a very Call of Duty shot. A very Call of Duty shot. This just instantly popped into my head as I've seen that before. It's a cool shot, but I, but I've seen it before. Gene at all times. 
Each weapon Does look good. boasts unique characteristics, as well as realistic reload nice, and recoil nice. mechanics. You know, like I said, they got they got the animations down. They're good. Can't fault the animations. Completing various community tasks also presents an opportunity to earn Woodbury coins. Well I just hope that it, it is less of the division in far as far as gameplay goes, where everywhere was PvE until you went into the dark zone. I hope once you've left kind of like the safe zone, it's more like Daisy um, than The Division. That as far as the gameplay goes, um, proper survival, people can kill you, steal all your loot, wherever you are outside the safe zones where you get your quests and NPCs. That's where it, what it needs to be. Uh, if they go full on Division with PvE everywhere and then certain hostile zones, then oh, oh, I don't well, know. Who do I see here? How's it going, my friends? Woodbury coins can be exchanged for ammo, from regular to armor piercing, weapons, protective equipment, backpacks. Gear looks food, good. It's got drinks, a good bit of grime to it. Spa going and chilling. This is a and a gym to work out. Their famous exercise and spa. Safeguard your accumulated items. I guess the social areas. So we got storage here. So we have got a stash. I'm not sure if they're going to try go in uh, extraction stuff maybe with certain zones and that might be where they're going to go with the dark zone type of vibe where from division where you're going to go into certain zones and get out alive with the loot or it's going to be more like dead side where the whole map's pvp and you can just stash stuff at the safe house kind of like dead side um but yeah we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see at least there's stashes so you can restock yourself at the safe house if you do get killed and all, all your loot gets lost on your character Exchange Woodbury coins for cars to swiftly. Not sure about the cars. Um, it's very much Walking Dead vibe where Glenn gets the, was it the Dodge Charger or the, or the Camaro that he got um, and had fun with it. It's kind of that kind of vibe I'm getting with these vehicles, which is kind of cool. You know, it's not terrible. But if there's like 70 people on a server and people have all got these racing like ferrari lambo looking cars around uh, i don't know i know it's gonna be weird i don't know Collect loot and access distant, it'd be, hard it'd be definitely interesting locations. unless those vehicles could be stolen could you steal a vehicle from a player as well and stash it yourself and then they'd have to buy another one if they could do that and there was massive risk for reward the game would do well again another i'm, I'm fucking helping them with game design here jesus christ take 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 this on fantastic I want your game to succeed. I don't want people to fail. So take this as constructive criticism, not hate. I don't want anybody to fail. I want people to succeed. I love positivity. So, And I want this game to do well. I'm a gamer first. And there's plenty of space for, for these new games to, for people to enjoy. And I want to enjoy it. And I, and I will be trying this game. Hence, I want it to do well. Um, so just keep that clear. So this looks like a kind of more vigor type uh, of situation where you've got your uh, kind of log cabin here on the lakeside. You can furnish it. This looks a bit mobile gamey, this little bit of clip where he's furnishing the house. Uh, not 100% sure if these are raidable or anything like that. We'll, we'll play this clip and, and let it play out, though. You will receive your own ranch where you can purchase and upgrade houses. This looks very well mobile install gamey. install furniture and decorations. The motion of the camera and everything. The ranch serves as your cozy, safe oasis amidst the post-apocalyptic chaos. Welcome. So I think that might be, it's a cozy, safe house, she says. So uh, maybe that is like the bigger separate map and you're safe there and you can maybe craft there and do things yourself away from the safe zone with everybody else if you want to. I th that's the vibe I'm getting from that. There's going to be more of a private cabin like the house in Vigor, which you upgrade and then you go into your extractions or in this case, you're going to survival. So we, here we have the, the large skyline that I mentioned earlier. This is a huge amount of buildings here. 90% of this is not going to be explorable. These will just be static objects, just to make it look pretty and big and amazing, which isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong, but don't get your hopes up on thinking, oh, I can go in that building all the way up and get on the roof. That's not going to be the case. You're going to be able to get on these ones, probably. Uh, these are just eye candy. This is just for looks. It does look good and at a distance coming down this road in your car or with your squad and if it's full pvp and there's people up there you have a big fight here and you're working your way towards town downtown for all that epic loot it's going to be a good time 
But if it's PvE and there's only certain zones, more like division, and I know it needs to be a proper Daisy experience in this whole open kind of world kind of thing, just like those early trailers made it look, where they were driving the off roads and that fix at the gas station. It definitely needs to have that kind of uh, that kind of feel to it, and not not what it's looking like here, more of a division experience. Um, that there will be the people that will like that, but if they really want to do well, it needs to be more of a Daisy scum experience uh with with the survival pvp kind of thing it needs to be more open to the next right, let's uh, finish of off the, the trailer here we see a car driving there actually survival games like never before immerse yourself in the day before hmm. the yeah. day before early access december 7 december 7 so i think we've gone over that pretty well that trailer let me know if i did forget anything uh there's anything i missed so these walls that's what I'm like thinking of these walls like dark zone PvP zone markers, the safe zone once you're one side, PvP the other side. Though this is far from the sea. So I don't know. I don't know. It's so it's not very clear, is it? That's the problem. They're not very clear on explaining what's what and what we can do and you know, it's not it's just gonna be weird. I have to find out on the seventh of December, I guess, and I will report. And I will be honest, but I will be uh, giving constructive criticisms and things like that. And my thoughts have, as I always do with these games, survival games. And as a developer, I'll give my perspective, which I've done on these buildings and uh, performance and things like that. It's uh, it's looking nice in some areas. Some areas look too nice, which, again, could be that land of the dead. This is the rich people and the safe haven type of thing. Um, but yeah, then you've got some really grimy looking places. Like this area in downtown, this looks good. This needs to be on the roads in residential, though, the rubbish, the foliage. But they might still be working on it. They might add all the leaves and stuff to residential and add a lot more. It adds a lot more life. Just those little details add so much more life to a scene in a game. You wouldn't think it would have such an impact, the debris and foliage on the ground and things, but it does. It changes the scene so, so much uh, for such a small impact on performance, uh, especially with Nanite as well, if you're using Nanite on these smaller meshes. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I do like this drink animation. I don't know if that's something that players will do. That you'll drop your gun to drink. I think it's quite cool, but in a way, that's not where I'd stop the drink from right there. That's a bit mental. Um, but I do like it so far. It, it, it looks scripted to me, this trailer. But looking at it from a different angle, I'm trying to understand where they're going with this. I hope that comes across in the video. I'm trying to be a bit more, uh, you know, on their side of the gate be a bit different with it but I, I i am gonna point out where things look a bit iffy but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below a little bit of a free form of video today checking out the day before reveal trailer uh final trailer don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to continue to see the content i create most of all thank you for watching and i'll see you peeps next time each weapon boasts unique characteristics as well as realistic reload and recoil that, that looks good though 